Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be having a look at what's coming up this weekend for you and your person. Um, and we'll see what the tarot cards can reveal what's happening sort of within this next um, 48 hour period. So um, this can be in regards to your love interest. Um, we'll have a look at you first and see what you're coming up with, the kind of energy. Okay, you've had a few cards fall out. Okay, Ten of Swords, Knight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, Reversed. We've got the Five of Wands. Okay, then we've got the Two of Wands. Okay, Air Signs, you're not in the best space right now. There's, there's something that has happened or something that will happen this weekend, and it's something you may try to argue or try to fight about. Um, you know, things are getting heavy for you with the Ten of Wands. And my understanding here um, with the cards it would, it is, is telling me that someone's not understanding you or not understanding something you want from them. So the Ten of Wands is like you're carrying something heavy. The Knight of Swords, some of you want to forget something, either forget a person or forget a situation. You're going to be moving into it really quickly and your thoughts are racing right now. Your thoughts are racing and they're causing you to do certain things and some of which could lead to like seeing a new person, abandoning a relationship, abandoning a person. You're sussing out your options here this weekend, okay? There's someone else coming into the picture or there's a new connection that you want to explore because you're not seeing growth. Some of you feel like there's not st you're not seeing stability or someone's not being consistent with you. Uh, and as a result... Um, you guys are failing to grow, okay? Failing to grow as a couple. Now, some of you feel like there's competition, all right? Maybe for your person, someone else has caught their eye, you know, they're liking someone else's pictures, they're going online, or, you know, they're showing someone else attention, and it hurts you, okay? There's hurt and there's pain, and it's something that you're not going to tolerate, and you try to fight it. Five of Wands, you try to fight it, you try to resist it, you try to tell them no, no, no. Um, but essentially, a part of you may feel deflated because you've tried so many times, and your person is just not listening. They're not being attentive to what it is that you want and what it is that you want from them. Ultimately, you have built something here together. So you do have something that's that's that was quite strong once upon a time that it meant something once upon a time, that it was deep once upon a time. Because we see roots, you, you've established roots with this person. But because this, this stability card, this relationship card, it's reversed, um, it's telling us here that possibly um, coming up this weekend that you're not feeling like you are in an established partnership with this person. Um, and I think on your side of what I'm seeing is that you keep, you know, there's anger. There's a lot of anger here. You've got uh, three out of the five cards are fire cards, and that's wrath, that's anger. So you're still angry about a situation, but you could also be frustrated. It may come to a point where you just feel like things are getting too heavy and you can no longer handle what you once could in this connection. And, you know, as upsetting as that is, as the Knight of Swords, you know, you keep thinking about this, how things could have gone differently or what they could have had, um... You know, you, you want answers. You want answers, but some of you are going to get the same kind of answers. Um, you're going to get the same thing you've been getting from this person for quite some time. And there's not going to be much difference there. But let's have a look and see what the cards can reveal into your person um, in this present moment. Okay, your person feels like a fool. They may feel embarrassed. They may feel foolish. Um, they may be looking at other options, trying to date other people. Um, but I do want to say there's hurt and betrayal here. So we've got hurt, nine of swords. They're not doing too well. They may not be sleeping well. They may be like repeating things in their mind. They're not in a good place themselves, I don't feel. Um... There's something that they want to talk to you about, but maybe, and they feel like they can't, um, but it's going to have to be them that takes the initiative to approach you and discuss this. So air signs, I see that you sort of are watching and waiting. You're not going to be the one, the first one to speak. You're not in that energy. Um, you're going to be waiting for them. The magician is initiating energy and starting something new. So if any, if there's any hope for this, it has to be on this person's side. Um, 
but I feel like because this person is coming up with a double Aries energy, it's it's stubborn, okay? They're being stubborn as well, and they may have some anger here as well. They may feel very hurt by something you said or something you did. Um, you know, they may be rereading over those text messages. They may feel very lonely, maybe especially during the nighttime. They're used to having you there, sleeping next to them. They're used to those good night messages, those good night calls, and suddenly that's no longer happening. So they feel that element of pain. Maybe they're feeling that Ten of Swords. They're feeling like something is missing. There's there's loneliness here. Um, they may be talking to their friends or family about the situation and about what's happened. And this weekend is going to be like a, a time frame where they're sort of going to maybe meet up with old friends, maybe talk about your relationship. It's like they're meeting up with other people with different experiences and people that come from different walks of life. And maybe they need to talk this out. Um, but the fool can be someone who did something that was foolish. Now, whether the, whether or not they feel like the fool or whether they not they understand what they actually did um, is a different story, air signs. Um, but be careful of the magician. If they're coming up with the magician energy, the magician is the trickster, okay? He'll say whatever it is that he needs to say to make you feel better. Um, he knows how to work his words or she knows how to work her words. Um, and they could play you as the fool. So you have to protect yourself against this person's energy. And you have to be aware that what they're doing, it can't keep happening. There's repetition. The infinity symbol is repetition. So something they keep doing or saying or um, something they keep promising or under promising or over promising to you is coming up in the cards here so they they are notorious for this um, and it may continue to happen over this weekend so um, a lot of you are not going to be surprised though you'll see it and you'll think to yourself you know damn I'm angry like why do they keep doing this to me why are they still in this position why what have I done to them um, I thought things were going so well like it, it comes as a bit of a shock and and it's hurtful um, but it makes you want to shut down and I do see for the weekend you may be like distancing yourself and, and, and shutting down because you are fearful that you're fearful that this will happen again that the the things they keep doing to hurt you are just going to happen and you don't want to be the fool in this situation anymore you're done feeling this way it's humiliating it's embarrassing it's not something you've wanted and most of all it hurts your air signs and there's a lot of there's a lot of heaviness that you're dealing with right now you're, you're doing it tough um but it's important to sort of take things day by day so you know try to take it easy and, and do things for yourself here uh, because you come first your relationship with yourself comes first so uh, thanks for tuning in air signs i do hope you have a wonderful weekend um, please look after yourselves and we will chat soon bye for now